Yeah, so when I lived on Patterson Park, my bathroom window faced the block. Like, so if you was in the bathroom, you could look out the window and see Patterson Park Avenue, right? So one day I'm in the bathroom, I'm on the toilet rolling up and shit. Had the window up because it was hot as a motherfucker. Summertime, you know, them houses down there ain't got no central air. We had them big back ACs that leak water. You feel me? We ain't had nothing in that bathroom, so we had that window cracked. But anyway, I'm on the toilet minding my business, right? And I started hearing these voices like coming towards my house, coming down the street for real. But you know, I'm a nosy nigga, so I'm listening. Sitting there twisting my blunt. And I just hear a nigga in a low voice, but I could still hear him clear, but he was trying to speak in a low tone. I just hear a nigga like, yeah, man, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the cut right there, hit the split. You go this way, I'm gonna go that way. When I hear that, I'm like, what the fuck? What is that? So I lean up and look out the window. And when I peek out the window, I see two niggas with black hoodies on. That's look out of place and cruddy. So I hurry up, finish doing what I'm doing, come up out the bathroom, go in the room. I tell my cousin, like, yo, I think something right happened around this bitch. You heard me. He's like, why you say that? So I tell him what I hear while I'm in the bathroom. He's like, you ain't see them niggas' face? He's like, no, I seen the back of them. They had hoodies on and shit. He's like, yo, come on, let's grab the pose. Yo, go around the corner, make sure it ain't nobody we fuck with, man. I'm thinking, like, damn, we fuck around, get in around that bitch and walk into some shit for real. But he was right for real. So I'm like, fuck, we grabbed, we grabbed the pose. Went on here, went around there real fast. So as we leaving out the house, I nigga, we didn't even make it off the fucking steps. Go ahead on and tuck the poles. As soon as we get to the front door, just get to hear them bitches blowing. Blow, 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 blow. As a reflex, I hurry up and slam the door. Boom. That shit sound like it was out front. I don't know what the fuck they had, but them niggas had some army guns, man. My cousin like, yo, what the fuck, yo, you wasn't lying, yo. So after like 20 something shots went off, we get up off the floor because we hit the motherfucking deck. When I slam that door, we hit that motherfucking deck. Cause bullets fly right through glass and wood. <laughs> Man, by the time we get up off that floor, I hurry up and run to the window and look out the window. We just see them niggas running off Port Street. The same two niggas with the black hoodies on. Niggas had them bitches in their hand, smoking. They had another nigga driving. But as soon as them two ran up off of Port Street, the nigga pulled up on Patterson Park, skirt, and they hopped in the fucking car, peeled the fuck off. Them niggas lit Port Street up. I ain't see it with my eyes like the actual shooting, but I heard the whole fucking thing. And I seen them getting away. After the car pulled off, you just see niggas coming up, coming from off Port Street with blicks in their hand, looking around like, fuck that nigga go at, man. They looking around. But they was niggas, we ain't know like that. But I told my cousin, I said, yo, don't open the door. Don't open the door. We ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Because my cousin looked like he wanted to tell him, like, man, they went that way. Uh. No, let them deal with that. But these are the type of evenings you had living on Patterson Park. Up that hill, man. Shit was real up there. The blink of my eye. That block went from quiet to gunshots, ambulances, and polices, fire trucks and shit everywhere in a blink of an eye. That's how I be happening. These Baltimore dangerous, man. Like I said, you don't need no TV to watch the wire.